And the notion of pursuing ecotourism, sustainable practices, sort of connecting people to the best of what the natural environment has to offer is critically important. You know, welcome everyone. We are very, very excited to have you in Portland and in Oregon. You know, Travel Portland and Travel Oregon have been chomping at the bit to have your conference here because it means so much to us to have this level of attention paid to sustainable tourism. Well, the ESTC is about getting all the good folks that w have worked on sustainable tourism and ecotourism for many years together. So 2010 has been declared as the International Year of Biodiversity, and ecotourism, the in ecotourism industry has an important role to play in that, because ecotourism has proven over the last 25 years to be one of the main ways that you can economically uh, use biodiversity in a way that sustains biodiversity and teaches people about the importance of biodiversity. And at this conference, we're really focused on innovative ideas, how people are actually taking tourism, ecotourism, the power of that industry to the next level, how they're actually contributing to conservation initiatives. And specifically, we are here to talk about indigenous tourism leaders who have won an award on how they portray cultural and biological diversity. So it's a great opportunity for our winners and finalists from all over the world to contact the sustainable tourism industry. Well, for us, this is uh, mainly an area where you know we could also meet up with like-minded people. Because all, all around the world, irrespective of the scale in which they function, there are different people working on uh, sustainable tourism. They might not have never met earlier, but they are, they've been thinking alike. Uh, we, as Thais, want to make sure that we get the whole message of ecotourism around the world. And I think this conference has really taken it to the next level. We've got people from 20 countries that have come here. So it's really taking a whole new thing. And especially in this time and age, I think the importance of getting everybody to see what ecotourism is doing around the world and how we can take examples of ecotourism and bring it into the traditional tourism market. And and I think from people that are heads of companies that have, have really made a difference in how we structure tourism and how tourism can actually contribute to the triple bottom line, meaning economic, social, and environmental causes and conservation. The main message uh, I would hope to inspire in others uh, here at this conference today uh, is again this idea that we are all capable of making a difference in our own way. That if we ask ourselves how can I personally contribute to reversing this degradation of our planet, how can I personally help to save another little wild part of our planet so that wildlife can survive and endure and even prosper, then that's, that's the trick. Um, again, uh, not to think you can do it all, but rather identify how you can Take one little piece of it yourself and engage and make a difference. Beginning with the fact that we're going to be the first company, we think maybe the first company in America, perhaps the world, to encourage our customers to not buy stuff they don't need. So we're going to ask them to think twice before they even buy our own stuff. Every time I get a chance to contribute, I'm always, I'm always happy to because there's so many small operators and good-hearted people that are trying to do good work. In, I need some inspiration and, um, in the audience and to come to, these conf to this specific conference. And I was, uh, I've attended as we've kind of grown over the years and have kept close, in close touch with ties. Um, and it's always been kind of ins inspiration for me as well. Having a conference like this brings people together who are working on the same critical issues, the core issues that con constitute ecotourism which is protecting the biodiversity and the conservation, working with communities, and creating healthy, sustainable businesses. Mostly I came for networking and trying to discover co-partners. The Rainforest Alliance is committed to working with the sustainable tourism industry to achieve our mission, which is conservation of biodiversity and creating sustainable livelihoods. And we cannot do that on our own. We need partners, and this is a great venue to get to know people that are involved in the same kind of activities. To come here to Thais has meant that I'm able to network with people who are passionate about travel in their own ways, you know, how travel can make 
um, make positive change. And that's either for the environment, for the sea turtles, or for the dolphins, or you know, for indigenous communities around the world. This is an amazing award for us. It's a global award as a small business in New Zealand. Gives us recognition that we wouldn't normally get. We, we are maybe not after awards directly what we are working for, but of course it's very nice to get uh, awards, and that's a uh, how do you say the thank you for the people what you're doing. At least from the people who gives the award to you, like thank you, you do really a good work. I think a lot of linkages, a lot of connections that we didn't know about that we're going to try to take advantage of. I'm very happy to be here and meeting and. Uh, sharing experiences and also learning from basically the whole world. Uh, the thing that I like best, the best about this uh, conference was the networking. Uh, the people that I'm meeting are amazing and from a wealth of different places and backgrounds and it's been great. We are so excited to have everybody come out to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina next year, next September. The kicker is that all the attendees at the TIES Conference on Hilton Head Island in 2011 will have access to a bike to ride our 52 miles of bike trails, compliments of Hilton Head Island. So come on over to South Carolina. Portland's wonderful, but I'm really looking forward to Hilton Head Island.